we're uh, still going to kind of test this a little to uh, improve my internet connectivity. At that point, we should be good to go. But for now, it's still... But as long as it looks good, I want to play. So, here we are. Uh, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, uh, live stream number one. Let's go. Just got my letter. Off to Hogwarts. As you may be aware, the decree for the responsible restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17. Eleazar Fig, to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Okay, that's interesting. Let's start the game. Character Creator. Okay. So, this is going to be a Slitherwin playthrough. Oh, there's lots of presets in here. All right. So, the uh, the idea of Slitherwin, obviously I'm going to make a Slytherin character, but it's going to be a heroic Slytherin character. And this particular heroic character is going to be a goth kind of girl. A uh, kind of a goth girl. So... That's what we're looking to play in this Slitherwind playthrough. Um, boom, boom. Well, let's just start with a preset. Actually, like that one. These presets all look really great. Wow. Oh, wow. See that? Eh, that hair bounce. Nice detail. Okay. These presets are fantastic. This is me. Uh, not, <laughs> not excited about that hair. It's kind of silly to me. It is kind of silly to me. Let's see. These all look great. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just start up here and then where do we go from here face shape oh, she's got lots of freckles I'm a fan of freckles I think freckles are cute that looks more goth to me ah yes <laughs> nope You know what? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time in character creation. I kind of want to get into the game and get going, but this is one of the few choices that can't change later. So, I am going to spend a little bit of time here. I think that's the one I like. No, not that one. Mm-hmm. That looks suitably gothy. Skin color. Doo -doo. Oh, I was hoping I could just like. I guess I gotta, gotta do it one at a time. Okay, let's go. I wish I could just easily step one to the next. Goth girl. When I think goth girl, I think pale skin, dark hair. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, let's see. Some glasses. Yeah. Those little half, half moon glasses. I like that. Okay. Um, good start. Hairstyle. All right. Let's see. I do kind of like that chestnut hair color, but we're going to have to change the hair color to be suitably gothic. There's 
lots of hair options. Oh my goodness, that's lots. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to go through all of them. Let's see. Hmm. No. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. The Bob. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the bob for that, for this one. Oh, there's here's the hair color. I missed the hair color slider up here. All kinds of silly colors. Oh, I could do uh, what do they call it? Pastel goth. That could be an option. Mm. Black hair or white hair? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I'm tempted by the white hair, but I think I I have to go with the traditional gothic black. Okay, well, that's good to me. Moving on, freckles and moles. She does have quite a bit of freckles and moles. Um, complexion, let's see. What does this change? Hard to tell with all the freckles and moles, let's see. Okay. Hmm, okay, interesting. Um... Not really, no. I guess it's... Yeah, I guess I don't really... <laughs> I guess I don't much care about that setting. It can be whatever. Okay, freckles, moles. Oh, is it like a beauty mark? Like a... Oh, oh, it went all the way. I didn't mean to go all the way. More freckles. Yeah, like a little beauty mark right there. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, scars and markings, none. Ooh. Can't have scars. Kind of hidden by her hair. Um, interesting. I'm just not sure why. They would put scars in here. I mean, it's not unusual for character creators for an RPG to have, like, you know, scars and things like that. But this is awfully specific. So I'm guessing it has something to do with um, the character's backstory. So that scar is totally hidden by her hair. This one here is almost totally. You can kind of see some damage on the cheek there, but it's mostly hidden. You know, from a narrative standpoint, that hairstyle actually makes more sense. If she's got a scar on that side. If she's trying to cover up her scar so it's not obvious to people. Should I go with a scar? I usually don't unless there's something kind of compelling. Um... So I'm thinking this is probably going to be one of those settings that I can't change later. Like, I think uh, you can change, like, your hairstyle and things like that, hair color, 
uh, at a shop in Hogsmeade at some point in game, but your face itself, your shape, the shape of your face, you can't change. So things like uh, freckles and moles and uh, scars cannot change. I'm going to go with this scar because I'm thinking there's a narrative reason for it, but I don't actually want it to be part, a prominent part of the uh, character design. So uh, I think we're going to go with that. Looks good. Moving on, trying not to spend too much time on this. Uh, eye color, yeah, let's do eye color first. I like the blue. Let's see what our options are. Lots of eye color options here. I wonder if they're gonna give us silly eye color options. Well, some very pretty blues. Nice hazels, getting into, oh, oh, yeah, here we go, silly colors, purple, oh, wow, oh, wait, 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 let's see, back here, mm. yeah, there's some silly colors, I kind of like that, I think that's pretty. Okay, eyebrow shape. Um, again, probably not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one. Um, unibrow. <laughs> no eyebrows. Okay, well, those are some of the more extreme ones. He's thin. Eyebrow color. I want to match my. Uh, yeah, just so it matches. Um, let's see. Not wanting to spend a lot of time on here. Oh, this one incorporates the scar on that side, I think. Yeah, yeah it goes with the scar. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. That one matches her facial scar from over here, right? Yeah, I think it does. Okay. <clears throat> I can't tell because the hair is covering it up. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yep, there we go. That's okay. Confirmed. Those eyebrows match that scar. So that's, that's the one for us. All right. I like the way this character creation is going so far. Oh, voice, yeah. Um, which, yes, uh, is there, like, just a test it, or? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. Um, I think we're going to go with voice, too. Let's see. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. Ooh, that sounds robotic. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That also sounds a bit robotic. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Very that, unnatural. That was quite something. That sounds good. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That's got kind of a robotic robotic tin to it. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, it sounds tinned. It's weird. Um, that was quite something. Okay, yeah, this one here in the middle, that's the only one that sounds like normal. Everything else sounds tinned. Um, let's see, difficulty, I'm tempted to go hard, but you know what, I'm just, I'm just going to go normal. A lot of times I'll start on a normal difficulty for a first playthrough of a game like this, because in my mind that's what the game developer intended the experience to be. So I usually don't change it from whatever the default setting is, unless the default setting is like 
easier story or something like that. I, I do like a little bit of a challenge. I've heard that the uh, combat in Hogwarts Legacy is already kind of challenging. So, um, normal may be a great experience. I'm going to start on normal. I this is the name of a character in a side project that I'm currently working on with my uh, friend and business partner, David. Um, <clears throat> and that's, we're still kind of keeping that uh, a little bit hush-hush for now, but I am developing a, uh, a game with a friend of mine. And uh, we, I've been working on it for a few years now. Uh, yeah, the uh, that global illness kind of threw a big monkey wrench in a lot of things. Uh, it slowed us down. I had uh, some uh, uh, personal health issues during that time as well. Uh, but we're over that now. We're past that now, and it looks like we are very close to launching this product publicly. Um, and I'm really excited about that. We'll talk more about that as things go on. But I, I already know that I want to name this character after one of the characters in my game. So this character's name is Helen Back. Helen Back. <laughs> I know it's cheesy, but I love the name. Helen Back. Yes. All right. I think we're ready. I think that's uh, mischief managed. Let's get a good look at her again. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Helen Beck. Very nice. Okay. I'm excited to get started. She's already got ah, a wand. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate Hello. you working with me before the time began. Answered that. I wonder why she already had a wand. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm. Of course. Open on Why don't we speak mystery. on to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages hmm. since I've the been to the a bit off there. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. So generally, it seems good. Uh-oh. Someone's posting spoilers in the chat. Sorry. Glad to have you watching, but let's uh, try to avoid spoilers for people who are just coming in new to the game. So this is... Uh, a first playthrough, I'm going to do a full playthrough, I'm probably not going to skip any of the dialogue, I'm just going to let it all play out. The story is new for me too, so I want to enjoy it myself. Uh, this is going to be a full playthrough. So far all we've done is the uh, character creation and now we're getting into the story. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Mm, goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions <laughs> differ as to how great Truth a threat Grandmark really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. Really, an no owl carried that? I can only see that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. No, I don't no, either. No. Ancient magic. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Uh oh. Oh, I was not expecting that. Goodness. <laughs> Good. Oh wow. Okay. So that's why we can see Thestrals. It's because we just saw that guy. Oh, man. Oh, my. They're answering a lot of my questions right out of the gate. you in a second okay well so far I'm liking the story suitably mysterious what happened poor George I can't believe he what the hell got into that damn thing attacking a carriage mid-air a typical dragon would never professor Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Ah, interesting. I do like how they revealed the Thestrals. The if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. They're only visible to we people no who have experienced death. Or why? I've seen someone die, um, bites it, they become visible to her. That was a really nice touch. I appreciate that kind of storytelling. This. How far did that book he take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The book he was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. Hmm. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, 
I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. I would also Let's like to have a look if around. if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Uh, well, there's a, a path right there. I've spotted one. Path to Hogwarts. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your hmm. wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Uh, this POV seems a bit tight. I would like ancient to back magic. it off a bit. Yes, a powerful magic wielded like, yeah. by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Pay more attention to the controls and the story. He's talking about ancient magic. I kind of miss what he said, except that it's an ancient form of magic that's lost to time. By, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the portkey. I'm going to have to but explore I am this, Professor. It was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I want to make that tooltip on the side there, the path to Hogwarts thing. I want to make that go away. But, I, oh, there it goes, okay. I thought I already tried that and it didn't work. Maybe I didn't try it properly. Is that ice? Spooky door. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Uh -oh. Focus on the center. your camera to select an active target. Select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Camera relative targeting. Oh. was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna target whatever's in front of me. Oh, up there. Interesting. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, can I get up there? Yeah. There. We're close now. It's just ahead. Um, but if it is, I want to explore this. There's something back here. Yes, yes. Rewarded. Um. Okay. Well, it didn't actually seem to do anything. Uh -oh, I bet that would hurt if I fell. Uh oh. <laughs> I almost found out. Jump! I can't jump. Wow! Wow! She's jumpy. POV backed off a bit. I like this better. It's still kind of tight for me. I'd like to be able to back off a little bit more. 
steady yourself! Something about Repera. I'm wondering, like, if it actually tries to return the original components of the object it's repairing, or if it just pulls whatever's available in the environment to approximate the original. Like, does it actually oh, recreate that? the original item that was destroyed, or is it just kind of approximated as best it can? Hey, John, you watching me? <laughs> Very cool. Well, as you can see, I've got started. What do you think of my uh, character? What do you think of Helen back? Uh, let's see. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place well, there's a mural over here that might give us some clues all right simple enough <laughs> My buddy John likes the name. I appreciate that. I thought I was clever. Made me chuckle. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Hmm. I wonder about that. I don't. Do people usually put statues of themselves in their home? It seems an odd thing to do. I guess maybe if you were particularly narcissistic, you might do that. Some people hang hang portraits of themselves in their room, or in their home. Although typically, I think they uh, hang portraits of family members, loved ones, things like that. Not not themselves. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? It does look like ice. Okay, I do need to kind of target it. What's this? Professor Fink! Hmm, interesting. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? So I guess she's just now learning that she can uh, see ancient magic and interact with ancient magic. It's not something she already what? knew. What in Merlin's name? Wake the Goblin. Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh my. I don't believe it. Wake the Goblin. Interesting. Oh, that Goblin right there. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no <anything> here. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Goblins and elves Vault seem to have 12, I presume. largely the same proportions. Precisely. I don't know if there's a lore the reason for that. Mm -hmm. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Well, secret bank. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> He's certainly a very friendly goblin. actually expecting to get to Hogwarts uh, pretty much right away. I'm enjoying this uh, intro though. It's quite interesting. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> On your way. Yeah. It's more goblin-y. I missed her. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. Interesting. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. So he's connected to whatever force is behind the dragon. And now he's gone off to tell his masters. I suppose this won't be a peaceful Here visit to Gringotts. Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Really? Really? It's quite mysterious. Suitably mysterious. Only someone. Vault 12. Thank you for your Who can help. see and interact with ancient magic would be able to reach it. I'm so curious. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Uh oh. Yeah, not too surprising. Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Study your, study your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Okay, so it's like a spell learning mini game. That's cool. I like that. Uh, okay. So if the red touches me, I lose. Okay, not too difficult, but at least it's not just a straight up. Rebellion. It's not just given to me. I, I have to actually something. do something to Move learn this spell. That's a nice touch. I like that. Cast Rebellio. A door. Well, that's okay. a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. Kind of if what you glow. can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Oh. Well. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Yeah. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hmm. I, I actually have no idea what to expect at this point. I'm enjoying the story. Someone has gone to great lengths to hide the this again, and protect but it. On the floor. swirling about. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have... There must be. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Perhaps I should. I like the, that they uh, attached a mini game to learning new spells. Even so, it does seem a bit simple. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay. Hold R2 and tap triangle to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Okay. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Look out! Uh oh. It's a good thing I know Protego. Professor Big. Big is kind of a badass. Check it out, so am I. Okay. 
helping. I'm helping. Certainly are a lot of these. Uh, Protego incoming enemy attacks. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing a thing. <laughs> I'm supposed to be using Protego. Okay. All right. Well, come get me then. Oh. Gotta go find some danger. Okay, so I was supposed to learn Protego. Whoops. Tried to stay Professor? close. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go? This way, I suppose. What's happening? Ancient magic the is leading me. Magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah. Do, do, do. This place is big. It makes me want to go exploring every nook and cranny. But it looks like it might also be infinite, and I could just go forever. Uh, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. I'm not nervous at all. Just a bit creepy. I need to align these statues with their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That guy came right at me. Hmm, this targeting is a bit weird. Oh, okay. So they'll just attack me from anywhere. Proximity doesn't seem to really matter. Okay, yep, that's what I'm doing. Thank you, Tiltip. There's one down. Okay. Getting the hang of this. Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm gonna pop a potion. Ah! This is more challenging than I expected. I'm glad. I like the animations for the combat as well. It's very nice, very cool. Oops. Lumos. Protego and Lumos are on the same button. That's a little bit, a little bit uh, confusy. Okay. Yeah, I I do think this is like an infinite space. I could go off and explore, but not find anything. Interesting. But they really just put you into the action, like, immediately. I wasn't expecting that. Why is everything all red and dangerous looking? Everything's all blue and calming. Okay. I should have been doing that more often. Hey, yeah. I should have been doing that earlier. Lesson learned. 41, okay. I wonder if 41 is what I got from it, or if 41 is just like my new current total. Well, I'm glad she's not shouting Revelio every time I use it. That would get old. 40, okay. So that's what I got. It's not my running total. Uh, there you are. How did you? What? Is this place? Looks like it's a know. potion. But I found this floating above that basin. Ah, you know what? I bet it's uh That is no mere basin. It's not a potion, it's a memory. That is a pensive. For a pensive, yep. For viewing memories. I wonder. It's a secret message from hundreds of years ago. Follow my lead. Is that supposed to be Merlin? So I know Merlin has a connection to ancient magic. All is yeah, in place. he's got some sort of role. The is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I we wonder could. if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Interesting. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Interesting. Astonishing. Okay. Can I see magic? 
Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Mm. Who were they? I don't know. Red but, rock. sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Hmm. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Hmm. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a I have no patience for traitors. Hmm. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah, that made me nervous. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He I like Professor Fig. Wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, boy. Yay. <laughs> This is great. Well, I really enjoyed that intro. That's fantastic. Excellent. I'm impressed with the introduction. There's some very nice touches in there, some very nice lore. It sets things up really uh, quite well. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. 
Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Is uh, Professor Fig the uh, Simon Pegg character? Oh, wow. <laughs> Getting directly into the sorting ceremony. Good. I was anxious to do that. Or is this the Simon Pegg character? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I hope I'm lucky, because I'm ready to do it. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I already know what house I want to end up in. She, <laughs> she has a rather awkward gait. Wow. Stomping around like that. She's not exactly graceful. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? <laughs> you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. That is true. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? It's basically, uh... The Pottermore test. Um, ambition is the Slytherin response. So this would be uh, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. True. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. True. Absolutely. We'll take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. I think that's just a subtle way of saying you get to choose. You belong in Slytherin! Excellent. That's what I wanted. Easy enough to get there. Yeah. Everyone seems quite pleased. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Uh. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I suppose we're dismissed. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Okay, well that went well. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well Simple done. enough. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Well, all my personal belongings were destroyed in a dragon attack, so not off to a great start. Okay. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Looks like I get to uh, start exploring right away. Hmm. Is that the lake up there? It's the Slytherin common room is supposed to be under the lake. Revenia. Nice details here. You can mark kestrels. Ken Mare, Ken Mare, I don't know. Interesting. Right? Very nice. I wonder if this music is specific to the common room. Like each common room has its own like theme song. That's got to be the lake behind that glass. Very cool. I suppose these are just other rooms. Other can I go into them? Yeah. I can. Bavelia. Wow, it seems to be Oh, there's a chest over there. Okay, Revelio's got a good range on it. chest where'd it go over there and here Revelio. no yeah right there ah Wigan Weld potion Excellent. I'm going to need lots of those. I suppose some introductions are in order. It's that new mm. video. Must be different starting off. That is not helpful. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragons. Like that poor man from the ministry. Then again, did you see the way that he is? That is not helpful. Can I help you? Ah, 
You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figg's who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figg are all right. It still hasn't been explained why she has this uh, particular entrance to Hogwarts. Why she's coming as a fifth year. Why she needed the escort. Any of that. None of that's been explained yet. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which hmm. ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. I believe he is the, uh, the character that introduces us to... Dark arts. Quite the nuisance. Still, we never had spiders. You tried what I thought was a smoothie cake set from my hair. Oh, I think I was tricked. It smells like flobberworm mucus. Oh, oh not flobberworm mucus. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. What a cool common room. Very nice. Want to think that again? Ugh, not Reyes. going to move there. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. She's not exactly modest, is she? We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. Ha! <laughs> not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? I don't know, okay. You're just cocky. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Okay, well, it's a rather abbreviated introduction. Huh. Uh, I hope you're not aware, but I'm practicing my mute button. Uh, hopefully it worked well. If it did, then you're totally unaware of all the things that I've muted. I, we'll let that I be a mystery. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet oh. you, Ominous. Well, you tentacle. certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days. Is he blind? Though I doubt you'll need it. 
Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders wow. of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. <coughs> Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Hmm. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. They're known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Interesting. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Not sure what's going on is with his eyes. Is the Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. All right. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, he's definitely got funny eyes, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Could be blind. Uh oh, tentacle. Yep, there's definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely a giant squid in there. Fantastic. I wonder if that's all we're going to see. Or if we'll actually see the squid at some point. Oh. Can I... No, I can't interact with it. Darn. I would have liked to have... gotten a closer look at the, uh, the lake. See if I can spot that squid, or... Uh, mermaid, or Grendilo. Grendilos are very cool creatures. Revelio. I wonder what the range on Revelio is. You know what? I'm gonna try something real quick. I saw saw something that you could get the squid's attention by attacking the glass, but I don't know. Nothing seemed to happen. Revenia. Lumos. Gotta practice my spells or I'll forget how they work. Okay. Protego even works in a uh, non-combat setting. I'm unclear on the uh, the relationship between wizards and goblins at this point. I mean, they are running Gringotts. That first goblin we met was uh, friendly enough. Revelio. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Yeah, I'd heard Hogwarts was big. This is uh, it's bigger than I thought. Okay, these are rooms over here. Is that what all this is? What's that? What's that? Looks like cakes. Yep, that ate a cakes. Okay. Oh, a piano. Fancy. Huh. Portraits didn't start moving until, like, my camera rested on them. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, looks like the porches are static until you're looking at them, and then they're... Oh, they, the rooms are numbered. Okay. So that's first years. This is the... Okay. Second years. Okay. All right, then. Water everywhere. 
It's like a canal down here, an aqueduct. Very nice. I like the aesthetic of the uh, Slytherin common room. It's very cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around eating things. More of a Hufflepuff than a Slytherin. This is very cool. Is a, is a little too tight. I wish I could back off the POV a bit. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Uh-oh. Here you are. It's the H book. That uh, seems unnecessarily flashy. Is it? it is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> in my, my armpit Professor, pocket. What do you mean it will keep track of what <laughs> The you're armpit learning? of holding. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Hmm. There's a chest there. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. <laughs> Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. If someone says you have eyes like a game Slytherin Dungeon. <laughs> I guess tapestries don't move the same way portraits do. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Don't tell me what to do. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? I'm glad my friend John is watching. Hey John, uh, if you log into your YouTube account, you can actually comment on the video. That'll make it a lot easier for me to track your comments and respond to you. I can't really check my text messages while I'm playing because I'm using my phone to monitor the uh, uh, game stream. Revelio. Kelpie statue. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts, one of two. There's got to be more than two. I guess this may be like the first stage of the, uh, the challenge. Once I find a second one, it'll unlock the next stage. Because there, there can't be just two. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Really? Um, open field guide. Uh, 
Okay. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. 1% overall progress. I guess. I wonder if it means 1% overall progress on this challenge or on all the challenges in general. At the moment, it seems like it's both. Yeah, okay. Multiple stages. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Interesting. And it tells you gear appearance reward Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Okay. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. All right. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the Velio. Oh. Oh. Ah, sorry. I was investigating the chest that I can't open. The chest over there that's staring at me. I can't sprint while I'm following her. What does... That symbol mean? I guess that was was like like a save icon. I guess. Ah yes. And now the door just opens for me. I guess because I used the password already. Rebellion. Oh, there's stuff all over everywhere. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Alright. Ooh, cool map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. I think I might need to adjust my cursor sensitivity. It seems a bit uh, sensitive. Professor Weasley said she has more to show me. I should follow her to find out what she has in mind. All right. Um, okay. And it kind of zooms in, shows me the flu network. Wow, there's a lot of locations. Okay. Your right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Also, the Quidditch pitch over there. Select the library annex. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall flu. Okay. Fast travel to the Central Hall. Flu flames. All right. Simple enough. Fast travel. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. Don't you find Revelio. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh. I'm glad they addressed my uh, missing possessions. What will I 
learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, huh. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You know, I just realized, like, I, I chose Slytherin for this character, but I don't really have an aspiration for her. I don't really have a goal, which is unusual for a Slytherin, I would imagine. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd mm. say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yes. But I'm going to be cagey. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. <laughs> I doubt she believes devil, me. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable mm. to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's, uh quite a bit of hand-holding right off the bat. I'm eager to get uh, going on my own. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but... I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, 
Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. Uh, main quest. Completing main quest will further the story. Unlock new features and grant XP. Collection chests. Field guide pages. 150. Yeah, I was right. There's more than two. <laughs> uh, Demi guys, statues, uh, astronomy tables. There's one astronomy table. Ah, Arunav. Hello, Arunav. Thank you for joining the chat. We're still just getting started. Let's see. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and have the required spell to activate the quest. Okay. Track a quest. Defense against the dark arts and charms. Okay. The map I'm is really enjoying the game so far. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, very new channel. This is actually my first time uh, streaming gameplay on YouTube. I've done some uh, review videos uh, for the Peripheral, the Amazon show. But it's a new channel. I'm just getting started. So uh, thank you. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. Still learning my way around here. The charmed compass will lead you to anything you're trying. I heard a chime. I think that means it found something. There's a page flying around up there. What's this? This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. What? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. <laughs> Pardon me well, if thank I seem you. a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I'm uh, trying not to talk over the dialogue, but uh, I will respond to uh, any questions in the chat. Happy to have you all here. Casting Lumos has an effect of some kind, but I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have all the right. time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Well, I'm eager to get on with the uh, main quest You're line. I understand on something it unlocks a lot of the... Uh, gameplay elements um but Lumos. that spot must be a clue i should look around in case it's nearby hmm i don't mind a little side quest here and there where is that let's see staircase there's a little some sort of statue or sculpture off to the side tucked under the staircase uh downstairs here maybe Bunch of stuff going on. I don't know. Should I uh, 
should I spend time trying to uncover this mystery or should I just go ahead on go on to the main story quest and come back to this later oh well that's a good th that's good <laughs> I agree. Oh, I found it. The location from the painting. Yep. Here it is. What could be so special about it? Revelio. A field guide page. And I see a uh, butterfly on the wall. The statue with an intriguing grin depicts the medieval wizard, wizard Gregory the Smarmy. <laughs> the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Interesting. Okay. And I just completed that. That unlocked glasses, I think. Field guide. Yeah. yeah. Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles. What's this? Okay, so I guess this is like the Hogwarts Regalia set that it'll unlock. Glasses first and then gloves when I find eight more. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, quests. Gear appearance reward. Complete two main story quests. Okay. And that will unlock some legendary gloves. Useful. Okay. Um, gear, let's see, black leather gloves, doesn't seem to have any uh, stats on it, I guess it's just cosmetic, okay, so those are the uh, silver rimmed, half my well appointed those are the gold-rimmed circular spectacles. These are the ones, the regalia set that I just got. I like these better, and they've got their well-appointed uh, defense is zero, but at, <laughs> but at least it has a stat, I guess. Let's see, and then what's the hat? Um, man, I like the detail on that. It looks leathery. Not her style, though. Okay, what have we got here? Natural beige scarf. Mm. Pass. What do we got? This is... Oh. Okay. Well-appointed, but offense zero. And then, what do we have here? Perfect vest uniform. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's put that back on. All right. Uh, wand handles. I don't have any locked flying mounts, locked broom, locked. Uh, more reason to do the main story quest. Okay. And then, let's see, collections. Cosmetic alterations. Okay. Quests. Like a moth to flame. Okay, this must be what I'm working on right now. The painting revealed an image. What appears to be a location in the central hall. Huh. Appearance rewards. Okay. Start your first day. Attend charms. Attend classes. Okay. What's this? Main. Assignments from professors, I guess. Uh, relationships, like uh, companion quests, uh, side quests, and completed quests. Okay, side quests, like a moth to flame. Okay, so. This moth here. <laughs> what do we. Do I zap it? Huh. A 
Okay. Find the location depicted in the painting. I, I did. So, how am I supposed to... Oh, Lumos, maybe? Lumos. Ah, Let's okay. get you back to your frame, little moth. Ah, okay. And then I gotta lead it back to the painting. Okay, excellent. Well, that's a cool little quest. Come on, butterfly. There we go. And then... Ah. And then we'll turn off Lumos so it settles on the flame. Or settles on the frame. I yep. Knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Excellent. Got the, the old guide piece. Oh, and I leveled up. Got some more hit points. Very cool. Okay. Now, where'd that girl go? Ah, oh, she's up there. I see her. Right there. <laughs> Convenient. All right. Hey, lady. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Alright, where's the broom? I don't think I've unlocked the broom yet. Cobalt Regalia. Huh. It said field guides were the only way to gain XP, but I got XP for completing that little side quest, which is kind of what I would have expected. A transparent chest. Yeah, the uh, I haven't unlocked the broom yet. I, that will unlock with the main story quest, I believe. Speaking of main story quest, uh, what doing? Let's see. Collections, challenges, quests. Um, okay. You know, I want to let's do the defense against the dark arts class. I'm sure charms will be great, but. Rewards, it gives me Levioso. Oh, Charms class gives me Akio. Both useful. Yeah, okay. Let's start with Dark Arts. Because that's fun. Okay. Oh, can I get it? I kind of want to grab that page. It looks like I might be able to... Oh, Nope, it's just going to tease me. <laughs> Let's see. I want to get it, but it looks like... Ah! Almost. Where'd it go? It's teasing me. I want to grab it, but it... I suspect it might just be an environmental thing. <laughs> we're, we're not leaving until you grab that page. I hope I can grab the page then. Revelio. Oh, well, I just revealed some other stuff, though. Ah, no, okay. Let me go. It looks like I'm too close to it. You back off a little bit. See it when it comes back around. There we go. Oh, well, I hit it. Did I get it? No, nope, I didn't get it. I don't know if I can grab it. Lumos. And I, oh, you know what? I bet. I bet a spell like Akio would be uh, would be useful. Hey, you know what? That's a good idea. Jump from the top. I didn't think about that. Get up on that railing up there and jump off the stairs. Oh, there's another one up there, too. Okay, yeah, these these have to be a collectible. I, sh I have to be able to grab that in some way. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was nice. 
That's a nice touch. Where's my page? Here it comes. It's going to go underneath me and then come back around over here. Uh, maybe. Maybe. As long as I get some sleep, I don't mind walking. It's hard to target. <laughs> I feel kind of silly trying to zap a flying page. That's that's kind of the charm of Hogwarts, though. It's it's uh, oh, disturbing my classmates. It's a bit silly. Hogwarts, uh, Harry Potter. It's it's a bit silly. That's part of the charm. Yeah, I think uh, I need Akio to pull it out of the sky. That's that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so what did I uncover here? A puzzle of some sort. Okay. Um, yeah, it won't let me open. Hmm. You know what? This looks like the main story quest um, pretty aggressively until I unlock stuff. What is that? It must be attached to this puzzle. What is that? It's like a frog owl. What is that? Some sort of weird thing. I don't know. Um, oh wait, hang on. Huh, is there another one of those around here somewhere? Revenia. That's got to be one of these. And here I am getting distracted by the getting distracted by the puzzle when I should be going to class. Typical. One QSA at top. One was at top. Ah, yeah, you're right well spotted. It's got two question marks on it. The other one had one question mark. And before I do that, let me, let me check this. Okay, okay, so this one here is for that top circle. The one upstairs is for the bottom circle. It's got numbers and symbols. Is your video to get the third one. Is there a third one? Pavelia. There's one up there. Off on another adventure, are we? Ah, Surely those okay. have occurred. Hmm. Revelio to get the third one. I'm not sure what you mean by the third one. It looks like there's two of these things. Okay, symbols and numbers. Let's see, how many symbols are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten numbers. Is it a math thing, like a, a substitution cipher, where each symbol has a, a, a letter or number value? There's ten of them. So, um, well, let's see. What are these symbols? It looks like a. Was that like a crab thing? Some sort of crab thing? Can I interact with the numbers? The only thing I can interact with here is the like the door itself. Um, Bellio, Lumos. Lumos. I have very few tricks available to me right now. Those don't seem to actually do uh, anything other than what we've already seen. Uh, I think it, no, it's, it's got to be a puzzle. Um, the numbers and symbols have to be related in some way. Um, so because there's ten 
there's 10 symbols, I'm thinking they have a numeric value, like 1 through 10. So, uh, but I don't know, like, what the numeric value of each symbol is. Uh, there's a crab thing, and these are weird. Like, there's a, a the frog owl. A unicorn looks like a dragon, maybe a hydra, um, owl, crab, lizard. I don't know what that one is. Some weird thing. Then spider and hydra again. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's like a three-headed hydra up there, and then like a mini-headed. Oh no, that's probably like a tree or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but there's ten of them. So, numeric value. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six for that crab thing. And then ten for the uh, hydra thing would be sixteen. So, yeah. If they each have a numeric value, then it's possible that those three symbols can add up to the seventeen in the middle there. Oh, no, wait, wait. That's the one upstairs. This is the one downstairs. It's the one. So we've got 11. It's just, I guess it's just giving me 11. Oh, maybe it's 11 because there are only 10 symbols. It can only, you know, use a symbol for numbers 1 through 10. But anything over 10, it'll put the actual number. Okay. So this one down here, we've got 11, and then the dragon, which looks like 1, 2, 3, would be 14. So 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, would be the lizard. Let's see if I can roll up a lizard here. What is that? Oh, there's a lizard, okay. Oh, but you know what? I have to get both of them. Okay, so uh, crab... Hydra, so be 10, 16, so it should be 1. That would be the frog owl. I can't, I still can't tell if that's a frog or an owl. Where is it? Huh. Actually doesn't seem to be... Well, I don't know if I figured it out or not. I, I, I'm working on a, uh, a hypothesis. Let's see. There's no frog option on that one. It's not giving me a frog. So that can't be. I guess each of them has a small selection of symbols. Um, so, I mean, I think I've got the first one figured out. But the second one, the symbol I need... To complete the second one is not available. Like it's not an option. Yeah, you have to get 21. I think you're right. Um, like I'm trying to make the outside symbols add up to the inside symbol. Because it seems to be a numeric puzzle. Um, but if it's not available, I don't know. Is there something else? Am I supposed to interact with them in another way? Oh, well, you know what? There's ten symbols. Maybe it's not one through ten. Maybe it's one through zero, or zero through nine. That, that way they'd each be a single digit. Okay, well, let's see. If it's, if it's zero through nine, then for this one, I would be, let's see, zero, one, two, three, four, five... And 9, that would be 14, which would mean I would need 3, which would be 0, 1, 2. That would be like the three-headed Hydra thing up there. Let me see if let me see if that's available. Um, oh, it is available. Okay, well, let's go with that then. But that means the other puzzle is wrong right now. I need to... I'm going to have to redo this other one, right? Yeah. So I think the top one should add up to 17 now. But uh, I mean, the, the top puzzle. Um, the 21 is the one I'm working on now. So we got 11 plus, let's see, 0, 1, 2 would be 13. That would mean I need 8 
for the top one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spider. For this, this one should be a spider. Let's see. Oh, it worked! Holy smoke! Wow, I figured it out. Wow! That's so cool. Uh, there's stuff in here. A fur lined cap. Is that blue? That was very cool. That's a cool puzzle. Wow. No, Arunav, uh, Arunav, you helped me with that. I probably would not have gotten that so easily without your without your uh, help. That is so cool. Okay, what did I just get? What did I get? Um, collections? Let's see. Um, what's this? Revilio pages? <laughs> I don't know about genius. You're making some assumptions there. Okay, what is this? What did I get? Decorated ornamental stands. A variety of decorated ornamental stands. It looks like... I don't think that's something I can use. Okay, so there's my, my glasses that I got earlier. I just got a fur-lined cap. Is that in here? Oh, yeah. There we go. No, wait. This isn't... This isn't the cap I just got. Where did I get this from? I don't remember where I got that. Um, this is the uh, dark arts stuff that I got for... Uh, is it Deluxe Edition or Digital Deluxe? PS5, I don't know. This game had so many different exclusive uh, exclusive items and things to unlock through different means. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, let's see. Let's go to gear. Headwear. Fur-lined cap. It's blue. I think that means it's... Oh, well, it's definitely better stats. Oh, look at that. That's cute. It's not goth. It is not her style. But... Superb. Uh, what was the other stuff? Well appointed. Yeah, well appointed. I guess that's like a step above, and then blue, and it's got like a little slot there for something. A trait slot level one, no trait applied. Okay, so I guess that means I can put a level one trait on this item. But I don't have any traits yet. Uh, it, it definitely has a stat that's got four defense, no offense upgrades. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not really her style, but uh, I'm going to continue wearing it for now. I know there's a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Hey, John, thank you for joining the chat, man. You square to transmog your clothing and gear. Okay, that was going to be my next question. I was like, I know there's um, transmog available. You square to transmog. Ah. The appearance menu allows you to assign a different visual to pieces of gear you own. Your selection includes basic appearances. Okay, so invisible headwear, dark arts hat, dark arts garrison hat. Fur-lined cap and uh, have I completed the game? Oh, Angel. Okay, you're asking John. Okay. Um, let's see. These are all neat. I like how that's got like that motion effect on it. But yeah, I haven't found a hat that I really like yet, so I'm going to. Uh, even invisible. Okay. Well, now I figured out how transmog, transmog works. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's a bit much. I like it. It's cool. 
but it's a bit much. And then that's uh, my simple, I guess, Slytherin robes. And then she can go without it. Mm. I like having the robes on. Get the cone one later, but like the Yen Sid uh, stars and moons cone cap. That would be cool. Let's see. In the west. Oops, I keep forgetting I need to do the transmog from here. Ah, no, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Dark Arts Ensemble. Cobalt Regalia. Perfect Vest Uniform. Stylish Vest School Uniform. Cobalt Regalia. It's a dress. I think I like these. I like those. That's that's a good style. Okay. And cloaks and robes. Ah, I keep forgetting. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. Traditional school robes. Dark arts. Yeah. Let's roll with that for now. I, I like <laughs> I like that robe. I just think it it's just it's a bit much. It's overdoing it a little bit. It's, like, it's kind of try hard. It's a cool design. It's kind of try hard. You know what? Let's go uh, simple for now. How about this? Let's just try this for a while. We can change it later. I got too distracted. I need to be. I need to get to class. I'm gonna be late to class, and then there's going to be consequences. Although I think that was a uh, a worthwhile distraction. Figuring out that puzzle. Well, Rebellion. That's something else too. I'm gonna have to remember to keep doing Revelio, like everywhere. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan. This is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Wai, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a cat. I have to pet the cat. I have to pet the cat. Come here, cat. Oh, I can pet the cat. Oh. Excellent. You can't put pets in a game and not let me pet them. I have to pet the pets. Have to pet the pets. Okay. Revenia. Was there something else? I didn't hear a chime. Well, no, there's kind of a chime. I can't tell if that's just like the sound effect. Oh, no, there's a thing over here. Okay, what's this? Ah. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh, okay. Ignatia Wildsmith. Interesting. Okay. I do hear a chime, but it seems a bit distant. Rebellion. Over here, maybe? I didn't hear a chime over there. Let me double check that. I didn't hear a chime, right? There's like a flourish sound. Revelia. And then I think there's like a, a chime if it actually finds something. Favorite Harry Potter movie? Oh man, you know, I think I think Prisoner of Azkaban is the best one. Um, but my personal favorite is uh, Order of the Phoenix because that's that's the story where the kids actually like kind of come into their own and start taking matters into their own hands. Uh oh, Peeves, 
Peeves? Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared of Peeves. Yeah, Order of Phoenix is really good. I agree. Heard a chime for sure. What did that? It's moving. Stop moving. You're not supposed to moving. Oh. Level two unlock. That young'un's now a teacher herself. No wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fang geranium. Never forget what that awful ah. puff girl said in forty. There's just so much stuff. Like, there's stuff everywhere. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard, Ilias, who famously saved the entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard, Raxidian, by conjuring a mouse patronus. Hmm. Interesting. What I wonder if we get patronuses in this game. Wow, I'm revealing stuff all over the place. If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Oh, my exams! <laughs> um, okay. I keep... I could just... Oh, wow! Is that a rhino? Rebellion. Or a fantastic beast? Surprised there's not a page assigned to this uh, rhinoceros skeleton. Yeah, there's definitely a chime when the Revilio finds something. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's soft. I guess that's a like a, a proximity indicator. Oh, flu. You can't how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, Ignatia Wildsmith. It's the same person on each of them. I guess she's the one who invented flu powder, apparently. I can't pinpoint the sound. I, I, I just hear it. Pavilion. See, that one, there was no chime, so I'm guessing there's nothing, like, close enough. But, um, like when I was downstairs, when I was down here and I did it, see, there's a chime sound, and it's kind of loud, which means, uh, I, I assume means that it's close. Whatever it's finding is nearby. It could be below or above me. Because sometimes the chime, oh wait. Sometimes the chime is loud, and that means it's close. Sometimes it's soft, and that means it's distant. At least that's, that's what I think is happening. Why are these eyeballs? There's eyeballs everywhere. It's creepy. I don't like the creepy eyeballs. Actually, I love the creepy eyeballs. Hey, it's Sebastian Salo. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1870. <laughs> yeah, finally. No doubt you've heard of it. I got distracted, now, sorry. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, I'll we do will both of a them. spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. 
Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Study your wand. Okay. Let's go. Ah. Yay, Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. I wondered how they would handle classes in this game. This is largely a cutscene, so I don't think it's going to be like this all the time. Let us begin with the basic cost. Let's see. Where is my... Pompous cast. See how the dump deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember... A surprised opponent is a ghost. Yeah, okay. Well done. Okay. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, it I seems want like you using only Levioso, they're wanting it to be a combat spell. I think it's got lots of you uses, may begin. but. It's recharging. You're good. Now perceptive. I do. Knock him off the table. Oh, okay. That's all I gotta do. Okay. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> well done. She's a little too pleased. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, Grindelows I are you one of my favorite mythical creatures. Can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. That didn't take long. Is that quest completed? That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Looks like, uh... Oh, that's my fellow Slytherin. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Okay. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> is he a Hufflepuff? Yep, yeah, Hufflepuff. Yep. Yeah. I almost made a Hufflepuff character for uh, this playthrough. It was between Slytherwin and Hufflepuff. Wanted to do a heroic Slytherin character or a villainous Hufflepuff character. And uh, the votes came in like three to two Slytherwin huh. over Hufflepuff. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. Hmm. Yeah, as a fifth year student, she really doesn't know nice work. anything. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't oh. your first duel. I want to go to Hogsmeade and get a wand. Hmm.
Should I lie? Because the only time I, that I know that she's used the wand was when she was with uh, Professor Fig in the uh, in Gringotts. I think saying I've used my wand in combat would prompt more questions than I want to answer. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Really? That sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> Excellent. That's you the right answer. Right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. I'm Whether it's joining it. a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. Oh, I want to do that too. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, I like Sebastian. your attitude, Salo. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look I think I just Brattleby found Fight Club. Clock Tower entrance. If you're interested. Hmm. Yeah. Until next time. Let's complete trophy earned. Yeah, okay. Bunch of stuff. It's given me a whole bunch of hit points, which is uh, suspicious and concerning. Gonna go attend charms class next. Last wands round one. Let's just speak with Luke and Brattleby. With the secret dueling club okay yeah i'll do that later though i want to continue the main story quest to unlock some stuff i want to get to hogsmeade so that i can uh um do the wand thing the olivander's wand i'm still using whatever hand-me-down wand it started me with collections let's see what did we unlock here i can be a bit neurotic about um these clearing these alerts whenever it tells me hey a new thing happened I I want to clear those like almost immediately it bugs me if they're just sitting there unchecked um, let's see what else was it challenges quests bookish half rim spectacles okay story quest to oh I got legendary gloves excellent okay and uh, four more main story quests will get me a legendary cape complete three side relationship quests that's I guess I got that for the uh, doing that painting the invisible painting side quest um, collections what oh yeah, my gloves. And I think I'm gonna go equip those right away. Oh wait, where are they? Did I or did I not get legendary gloves? Challenges, quests completed. Oh, a gear appearance reward. Okay. So it's not gear. Oops. It's an appearance thing. Yep, transmog. Okay. Black leather gloves, legendary gloves. Okay. Black rivet gloves. Oh, those are cool. Black leather gloves. Or no gloves. Huh, is it just me or those hands look <laughs> those do not look like a teenager's hands. Look at all those wrinkles. That's like an old person's hands. Why does she have old person hands? Let's go with the black gloves. It's, it goes better with the goth aesthetic. Alright. 
Yes. I am... I'm pretty much going to go straight to Charms class from here. So that I can push I'm the nice main story you, quest a little bit. Wish someone would send me a yeah, there's, there's way too much stuff. I should be distracted by everything all the time. If I don't focus on the main story quest, I'm, I'm never going to complete it. I want to explore. I want to get out and explore. But I want to uh, unlock another kitty. I have to pet Eddie Cleaver. Seems to be having a rough day. Yeah, if I don't focus on the main story quest, I'm not ever going to unlock these things. There's a chest, though. I want that chest. Eh, some money. Okay. What is this? Is this bathrooms? This is bathrooms. I don't... Ooh. Ill-advised to cast Revelio in the bathrooms. That never ends well. I've always uh, said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Wow, I just... I can't get over how cool everything looks. The setting is just fantastic. The tapestries. It's, it's like... It's like they put the school in a museum. I gotta go more upstairs. How do I get more upstairs? Side quests are not available. That's a neat. That's a neat tip, John. Thanks. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Right we here. We have to remind <laughs> him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Revelio. Probably teach you after we've done our exams. Okay, so, hey, so I have the option. I can just come in here and, and explore without having to start the quest. Or if I'm ready to start the quest, I can, okay. Oh, level one lock. Okay, I need the unlock us spell. All right, well, let's start the class. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. 
I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the seven months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. this red thing? Is this the red mist of ignorance? Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! All right. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, okay. think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as I like as how they're tying the uh, lessons to mini games. Or it'll fall. It's yes. more participatory. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. Splendid! Hmm. Okay. Excellent control there. Uh, okay. Almost too far. It looks like it's gonna fall off. It's gonna Not fall off. <laughs> so close. Very good. Stop, stop, stop. No. Happens to the Darn. Very good. Points to Slytherin. <laughs> but there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I have an idea. Okay. What's the... Well done. Okay. There we go. That's it. <laughs> John already knows my idea. Yeah. That is how it's done. This is the one to do it on too. Oh, keep going. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't pull it far enough. Nicely done. Let's have a few things. Okay. Let's see. Oh, is she gonna get me? Hmm. Okay. I can still get it on this one though. Yeah, here we go. Ah, nope, nope, I screwed up. Ah, oh, man. Stay <laughs> focused. Ah, well. Good one, Natsai. Yeah, it would have worked if I'd done it right, but I missed my opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round I'll get another it chance. All. Here we go. Okay. Ah, no. Nope. I got carried away. <laughs> I did. I lost my composure. You are correct, Professor. I'm starting at a disadvantage now. That is how it's done. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Nope. Go, 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 fall. Yes! That's what I wanted to do. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. So I want to get mine. Let's see. She's got... 60 points. I've got 50. All I have to do is get it into that orange. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. <laughs> yep, that'll work. That'll do, pig. Splendid. That was fun. That's a Very fun mini good, game. Both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I yes. transferred here from Wagadu just before my father. Wagadu, I love that my name, Wagadu. I an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. As much as I like Harry Potter and Hogwarts, I'm very curious about the other schools like Ragadu, Bobotans. I'm hoping maybe this series of games will uh, let us explore those other schools uh, at, in the sequel or further down the line. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> I've often wondered about the uh, the point of the wand. Since you can cast magic without a wand, why do they have wands at all? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? I like the wands, though. <laughs> I just wish uh, the reason for them was the clearer. 
So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first cool. time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Sounds awesome. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Hmm. Okay. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I see curriculum. Yes. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I guess I can go explore. The only other side quest I have Revelio. is the uh, uh, unsanctioned dueling club thing. Huh. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother I want her to make her a bit cocky. So humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Okay. There's something on my map. What is that? Weasley after class, Professor Weasley. Okay. I guess that's the new uh the new Rebellion. leg of the quest. Handy the main quest. I'm most pleased to be included. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Rooney. Let's see. Oh, well, Tom, I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. <laughs> you'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flack. 
but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> ah, there's another puzzle. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how this goes. Um, okay. Let's see, so. This sh oh, kitty. The cat wants in. Interesting. The cat knows what's up. Nope. Ah. <laughs> Kitty. Um, yeah, that should be right. Where is the other... Oh, that's right here. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Four plus... One is five, so I need seven. One, six, zero, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. I don't know what that symbol is. It's just a weird thing. That. What is that? Squid, maybe? Could that be the giant squid in the lake? Yay! That one was much easier than the first one. Cool. Ruined stairway. Wow. Gray Quidditch gloves. These are neat. Revelia. There's some chests in there. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Um, to do. I guess I gotta go back downstairs to get to. Well, I had a friend who once went to a monk. To, to do. I'm not used to talking this much while playing a, a video game. Oh, have I opened that? Jump over the edge. Yeah, oh, let me. Okay. This place is huge. It's very cool. They really, man, they really did a good job on this. Oh, the mini map is showing me a path. Okay. There's the rhino again. Yeah, this is where I was earlier. Oh, navigate by skeletons. Is this that courtyard I was in? Yeah. This is the same courtyard I was in earlier. Okay. Rebellion. Kitty. Uh, yeah. What are you up to now? about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. 
before you arrived? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Yes, it's got Hogsmeade. We to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. I want to do it. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I want it. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very yes, well. I am. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps hmm. Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yes, because those are the characters that you introduced me to. Um, my fellow Slytherin, I think. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> so, I feel like I've got a good bit of freedom to uh, roam around the castle and explore oh. things. But it does also still feel like a quite a lot of hand-holding. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. Excellent. I want to do that, then. Two-Tone House Cloak. Revenia. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. I guess in time I'll learn my way around. Oh, a side quest. I've really had to make a mess of things. Oops. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, mm. I'm fond of creating my own charms. 
thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around. Ah, the I bet but this I is the flying the pages quest. With bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Oh, okay. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very <laughs> much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. <laughs> okay, well, that seems a rather straightforward side quest. Um, I'll come back to that later, though. I want to uh, stay focused on the main story. Where am I? Is this a door? It is a door, huh? Yes, the camera feels so close in those moments. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, okay, well, I wasn't intending, but... Oops. Okay. I wasn't intending to do this right now, but since I'm here, and so are they. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too, if I were her. Hmm. See three of five. Yeah, I kind of noticed that as well. Um, I wasn't sure how consistent that was going to be, or if it was just a fluke. Let's see. Okay, one more book. I adore them. There we go. Not sure the fairy. Vivelio. I'm glad I don't have to stay in the car. Something. Something somewhere is chiming. Ah, oh, it's a flu powder thingy downstairs. Okay. I do want that. There we go. How okay. nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Something else. Uh, a locked door. Lock level. Huh. Locked level locked. Okay, I guess I'm done in here for now. Five? I thought I got all five. There's one more somewhere. I thought I got all five of them. I guess I didn't. Let's 
So there's a fifth book flying around here somewhere. I don't think I went to that side over there. Yep, there's one. Okay. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Ah, uh, one of the things I got was a page instead of the book for the side quest. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay. Well, now I know what to do with those flying pages earlier too. Yeah, I wish the camera wasn't so close, right up, right up over my shoulder. It'd give me a little bit of space so I can see my surroundings a little better. I mean, I could kind of uh, understand being that close in combat. It might make combat more interesting. Oh, I just noticed my vest has like skulls on it. Interesting. Well, it's part of the dark arts set. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Perhaps you should. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Oh, I leveled up. I'm a level four Slytherin. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I unlocked some new stuff, some new gear. I unlocked some new gloves. Ah, oh, yes. Gray Quidditch gloves. Improves my offense. I'm gonna have to transmog it though. There we go. The simple black leather gloves are what I like. Oh, more gear. Cloaks and robes. Now this is purple. Hmm. I definitely want to wear purple gear, but I like the look without the hood, or without the cloak. Let's see. Got a Hogsmeade. I definitely want to do that. Professor Ronan's assignment. That one's still locked. I gotta do Ronan's assignment before I can go to Hogsmeade. Still showing gear. What what new gear? I don't know. Okay, it bugs me. That's just it's just gonna continue to bug me. Quest items. Um, if you say so, collections, oh, a, a cool wand handle, avian gray, I think these are just cosmetic, right? Collections, what else is new? The conjurations. Oh yeah, the stairway. Thanks for the room of requirement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Report to Professor Ronan. Uh-oh. Pages. Ah, this is the one that eluded me earlier. I got you. Uh -huh. And there was another one floating around. Gotcha. 80 XP each. That could add up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there he 
is. Easy enough. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Hmm. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay. Uh, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Oh. It wanted me to collect flying pages, which was something I was already doing. Got it. And the defense against Dark Arts Tower. This and way. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Bring it. Okay. Well, that turned out to be easy. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let I us clearly know my way around video charm games. Try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, whoa, slow down, ready. old man. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. The Mending Charm Repero. That's it. Very good. Okay. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. See what this do. Lumos. Oops, no, not Lumos. Repel. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Was that a pun? Uh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think buying the equipment is uh, the more practical choice. That's probably what I would do as well. I guess we'll find out what I would do when I get there. Hogsmeade. Oh, cool. Okay. Excellent. I want to unlock Full Explore. Uh, go to Hogsmeade, meet Sebastian near the entrance to Hogwarts. Required level 2, Reparo. Rewards Ancient Magic Throw and Ancient Magic. Excellent. 
Excellent. That's what I want to do. All right. Okay. You know, I had originally had this idea that I would turn off like the the uh, quest lead, the hand holding stuff, but. Now that I've seen the uh, enormous scope of just the Hogwarts castle, uh, I think I'm going to leave it on at least until I've unlocked some stuff and learned my way around a bit. I'll probably turn it off later, just so I can uh, explore on my own. But for now. very useful. I would be completely lost without a bit of help. Oh. It's a page. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangardon. Fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Ah, oh, there's Sebastian right there. There's another page over here. Three Sisters Bells. The Three Sisters Bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyleshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung on, in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Interesting. Thank goodness for this hey, level five. Level oop. Flu. Pavelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Blood Red Fedora. That might be more her style. Let's check this out. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. I still prefer without, though. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. I'm going to put that neckerchief on. So that I can... Uh... Oh, actually... What's this? Dark art scarf. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Let's leave that on. Okay. Challenges. I did a challenge. A field guide thing. Hogwarts Regalia Gloves, okay. And then the hat next, after 15, wow. That's a lot, 15 field guide pages, okay. Really? Let me check that out. If you put the cloak on. Oops. Ah. Oh. Okay. Doing that. Shows off her scar. 
I don't know if you saw the uh, character creation part. I gave her a scar, but it was hidden by her hair. It's kind of, uh, yeah, go back and watch that part if you're interested in it. But that's basically why I, I chose the uh, the one that I like. Yeah, I've only seen a few hats. Um, I don't know, hats are tricky for fashion. They can be really cool or rather lame. I don't like hats just generally like in games or in the real world. They can be practical in places with inclement weather, but for the most part, I don't have any use for them. Oh, there's another page up there. And so these pages are just all over the place. Okay. All right, let's go to Hogsmeade. Well, fancy meeting you here. I've only got about an hey, hour and a half ah, left my new before my data gets I'm throttled again. So of supplies, that's when I'm going to have to wrap this up. For them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? John, that's that's you forever. Should have gone to bed four hours ago. That's your default setting. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, oh, by no. the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it. I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. It's a very Slytherin attitude. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? This looks really Just nice. Just to keep me well-rounded. The funny statues. Speaking of detention, Vellia. this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, Revelio. just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. What is that honking? There are geeses nearby. Hmm, interesting. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for oh, yourself. Wow. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. No, you certainly don't. I think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. The flowers were honking. <laughs> to the left is the Forbidden Forest. Oh, I just. As a bounce to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, they the are honking. Just past those ruins up ahead. The little trumpets or horns or something. Oh, oh! That's how I customize my spell wheel, I guess. 
Do I just have one spell wheel? I have <laughs> exactly four spells for exactly four slots, so that's fine for now, but I'm going to need more slots. Pavilion. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, faces to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? <gasps> Perhaps one day. Kestrels. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Ah, oh, okay. Well, good. I'm going to have to prioritize that. I need more spell slots. I want to be able to customize my wheel. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But can he can see, see them? them? Oh. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand, too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully, the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Revelio. Kitty. Must pet. Oh. Must pet. <laughs> Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Um. Is everything all right, sir? <laughs> oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. He appears guys, to be a bit drunken. I don't drunken. know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Ooh, there's doodads over here. <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a character. Velia. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not good, but she'll be better soon and back at home. Ah, Moonstone. Okay. His sister is sick. I heard something about that. Oh, oh, oh. Revelio. Hogsmeade, the only all-wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, third years and up, for centuries. Hmm. Hey, welcome back, Aronav. Am I saying that right, Aronav? Arunav? Uh, finished my classes and I just got to Hogsmeade. Honestly, I'm, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know I'm if it's the hoping to get my people, wand from Ollivander. Something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Excellent. So, how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. Me and too. A short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. I have to wrap it up. Hour to an hour and a half. I'm hoping to finish in Hogsmeade. I think after finishing Hogsmeade Village, that's a good place to stop. 
Um, after that, I'm going to have to take a break, and uh, I will be back at some point in the future. Hopefully later today, if my internet cooperates. Oh wow, Hogmead, Hogsmeade gets its own map. Shops and points of interest. Oh, okay. That's a good size area. When will I stream again? What it depends on my internet connectivity. I'm having some internet issues at the moment. It's fine because I'm not throttled, but I'm getting a new internet service uh, soon. They don't know exactly when. Should be either today or tomorrow. Once I have the new internet connected, I'll be able to stream more frequently. So it could be later today. If not today, it'll be tomorrow at some point. Um, I, at the moment, I don't have a streaming schedule. Yes, yeah, there's some frame drops. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of annoying. Right now, I'm not throttled, so it's good enough. But when I am throttled, uh, it's unplayable. It, well, I can play, but I can't stream. It's unstreamable. So hopefully, the new internet service will uh, correct that issue, and and it'll be much better. Um, if you want to uh, continue watching my uh, live streams and playthrough, I recommend subscribing to the channel. Uh, that way you'll get an alert and uh, you can visit the page and see when uh, new streams are up and when I go live and things like that. It's the best way to keep in, uh, keep tabs on my streaming. Let's see, Tomes and Scrolls, Bookshop. Spent Witches Sporting Needs. Ah, that must be where I get a broom. Hey, thanks, Aronav. I appreciate that. Ollivander's Wands, right there. There's a POI Hogshead Pub for Butterbeer. Potions. Uh, Magic Neep. Hogsmeade's Supplier of Fresh Produce Seeds. Uh, Zonko's Joke Shop. Definitely going to check that out. Broomsticks Inn. Ah, more butter beer there. Oh, so there's a pub and an inn. Uh, Snelling's Stress Emporium. Yes, I do want to stop in there to see if there are other hairstyle options that weren't available during character creation. Uh, Gladrag's Wizard Wear Clothing Store. Oh, it's a hat. It looked like a cup on a saucer. I thought it was going to be like a tea shop or something. Uh, Brood and Peck, Beast Supply, The Old Fool, Hogsmeade Square, Steeply and Sons, Hogsmeade's local tea shop. Oh, there's the tea shop. And Honey Dukes. <laughs> uh, I wonder, The Old Fool, an abandoned old building in Hogsmeade. Okay, I think this is where the uh, pre order shop is. Right, you get your own shop and quest line thing. I think that's going to be the old fool. But this is my first stop, Ollivanders. That's where I want to go first. And get my wand. Priorities. Your wand awaits. There's a chest right here. Casual school uniform. Okay. Okay. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. It's me, indeed. Ah. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for. For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, Gerbold. you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. 
Ten and a half inches, quite yeah. large. Give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Really swish it. Um. Well, I liked it. Well, this isn't a good I match don't at think all, it, it likes me. Uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wolf. Thirteen and three quarters. Quarter inches, dragon heart string. Lord, how do you walk around Let's with that give thing? Give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> uh, this, this is a is cute little scene, but than I, had anticipated. I do perplexing. hope we get to uh, um, customize our wand. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, I think that's where this is leading. It's leading to are. the uh, wand customization screen. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Here we go. Okay, yep. All right, crooked spiral dark gray. Interesting. It's a bit plain. I actually kind of like how plain it is. Let's see. Wood type, core type, flexibility, and length. Style, okay. How intriguing. Notched, warm brown, light brown, dusty pink, okay. Classic. Curious indeed. Soft spiral. Spiral. Stalk. Interesting. How intriguing. Hmm. Ah, I like the ringed. That looks good. I kind of like that. It looks like a like a skeletal finger. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Yes. So far, that's my favorite. Uh, the crooked. This one, dark gray. Yeah. Rather gothic. How intriguing. The pale brown does kind of also look like a skeletal finger. What's this over here? Natural gray. It's the lightest color. Glorious indeed. No, I like the spiral. The ringed. Ringed pale brown. Yes. There we go. I like that. I don't see any difference Curious in the indeed. ink or in the, the wood type. It doesn't seem to... Hmm. It doesn't change the appearance How at all. I guess it's just a... Uh... Let's see. I guess it's just Curious a matter indeed. of dogwood. Elder. Intriguing. Yeah, I like the ringed. Curious indeed. I'm gonna have to go Elderwood. Since it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, length. How intriguing. Again, doesn't change the appearance at all. Eleven and a quarter inches. Eleven. Curious it just indeed. Goes by quarter inches. Nine and a half inches is the lowest, and fourteen and a half inches is the longest. Um. How intriguing. I want to do like 
13 inches. Make it an even 13 inches. Lucky number 13. <laughs> Flexibility fairly bendy. Quite bendy. Fairly bendy. Very flexible, quite flexible, surprisingly swishy. <laughs> How intriguing. Whippy. Brittle, hard. 13 inches sus. <laughs> Curious indeed. Unbending. Slightly yielding. Unyielding. Interesting. Uh, surprisingly swishy is <laughs> my How favorite. Intriguing. Slightly springy, swishy, surprisingly swishy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, see, there was another one though that I liked. Indeed. Reasonably supple. Yeah. Okay. Reasonably supple. Ah, Dragonheart String serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. Unicorn hair, known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix feather, capable of producing a great range of magic. I gotta go with the dragon heartstring. She's a Slytherin. It's all about that ambition, power. Yes, dragon heartstring. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Yes. Ringed, pale brown, elder, dragon heart string, reasonably supple, 13 inches. Yes, that's my wand. What do you think? Yeah, dragon heart, right? It looks huge. <laughs> another wand, and there are another wands bigger than that. Bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. It does right look one, huge. Yeah. I learned from you just as you learned from it. I mean, it's like a to small it sword. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I think I got... I know I got at least one wand handle. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, and I got some uh, materials. Oh, wow, what is that? Stench of the dead. Oh, good. Yeah, it's like, oh, like some uh, stinky dead stuff. Ashwinder eggs. Dittany. Doug Bog Tongue. Eh, no thanks. Hork Lump Juice. Leech Juice. Oh my. Interesting. Okay. Inventory. Oh yes. Resources. Oh, can my, is my inventory limited? Quest items, beasts, resources, wand handles, here we go. Avian Grey. Okay. Well. 
I do like it. It's suitably gothy. We'll go with that for now. Slots. Gear is limited. Well, I do want more gear slots. Let's see. What's this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I want the stat, but I'm going to transmog you away. That is not acceptable. There we go. What's that dress look like without the robe covering it up? That's a lovely dress. But I do like this better. School uniforms. I'm just curious to check out the different uniforms. Just some slight variations on the uniform. I like this one. Okay. Very cool. All right. Okay. What should I do next? Pavilion. Zonko's. Oh, is it locked? His Zonko's locked? It is. Darn. I was hoping to go to Zonko's. Okay, let's see what the map says. Alright. So I've done Ollivanders. Um, broom. Oh. That's the broom. It is locked. Okay. The broom store is locked. That makes sense. I haven't unlocked brooms yet. Alright. Um, let's see, hair, clothes, beast stuff. I'm not going to the old fool yet, because I know that's going to unlock like a, a little side quest chain. And I don't want to do that just now when I have limited time. I've got like about an hour or so left. So I want to save that for a while. Let's see. Um, I feel like I should, I don't have much money. I feel like I should save my money for now. Let's see, what, uh, what's my quest object, objective? Tomes and scrolls, Pippin's potions, and the magic neep. Okay. Let's do potions next. This is I just like looking around. It's such a neat neat place. Very cool. Oh, there's Sonkos. Oh, and I saw a thing. Sonkos, frequented, frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Sonkos is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. All right. I wonder if we can buy like consumable prank items at Sonkos. That would be excellent, and I want it. <laughs> Boxing telescope. <laughs> Interesting. Very cool. Gillyweed tonic. Jack in the barrel. Okay. Mm. 
it's a very cool place. Tempest in a bottle. That sounds useful. <laughs> oh, so cute. I wonder if I can actually buy anything here or if it's just... I bet something will happen here later. Can of mystery. Bewildering can of mystery. Quality surprises canned and distributed by Anderson Brothers. Uh, I'm not sure. It's uh, it's Zonko's. So it's, I mean, in lore, in story, it's, it's a shop. It's a joke shop. Um, I don't know if it's actually a, a store I can buy stuff from in-game. <laughs> I hope so, though. I want to buy pranks to use at school. Huh? A big red button that says don't push. What do you think? Should I push it? Should I push the don't push button? <laughs> I, I have to. Uh-oh. It did a thing down there. <laughs> ah, Aronav, I like your style. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything to Revealio in here? Revealio, your dealio. Oh, there's a thingy. Yep, yeah. right here. Dung bomb. A favorite among pranksters, the dung bomb produces a foul odor, causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate post haste. Certainly useful. Oh, I see a, f a thing floating around outside. Okay. I hope I can buy pranks here. Rebellion. Let's see. I don't think I did this. Musical balloons? They, they are balloons. They don't seem to be especially musical. Okay. Even so. Very cool shot. Okay. Moving on for now. Yes. Can I Accio and Owl? I doubt it. Rebellion. I feel like I should just be doing Rebellio constantly. Oh, what's this? Ah, a little bit of money. Oh, and there's a chest down there. Oh. Oh. Huh? A chest. Uh, I can't interact with it from this side. No. It's got a, an eyeball on it. I can't interact with it. Lumos. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I should do Revealio just all the time, but I also, like, it'd be kind of irritating to do Revealio all the time. 
So I'm trying to like kind of spread it out, you know. Hogshead Docks. These docks outside the Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one can do so whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings on may be occurring in the nef notoriously shady inn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to strike a balance between like exploration and finding all the things and like actually just uh, exploring without Revelio. Ah, wow, I just like wrecked that thing, whatever it was. <laughs> I love how she just walks walks around grabbing food and eating it. Okay. That's a very cool. Oh. What is with these eyeball chests? Oh, but hey, there's another puzzle here. Hmm, so that was the dock. I was just there. Okay, let's see. I was just at the dock. I'm a menace. <laughs> okay. Lumos. So there we go. Ah, okay. Come on, little flutterby. Disillusionment is a stealth spell or an invisibility pot. Oh, that's why they have eyes, because they can see me. Always have 500 gold. Okay. Did I unlock Akio yet? Yes, I did unlock Akio. And uh, that's how I got the uh, those flying pages, like this one right here. Oops. That flying page that uh, was eluding me earlier. I nabbed it with Akio later. Ah. Where'd he go? Revenia. There's a little coin pouch over here. There's just stuff everywhere. All over everywhere. What is this? Sack Black. What is he hiding? Huh. I guess the headmaster is not exactly popular. I wonder. See, when I come across things like that, I always wonder is this story or flavor? Wait until you see the rest of the world? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> I mean, just based on what I've seen so far, Hogswood was much larger than I expected it to be. Hogsmeade is much larger and more satisfying than I expected it to be. Uh, the world beyond these little areas, I imagine, is enormous Handy and impressive. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ah, more papers. Boom. 
Six of eight. Wow, I've almost got all the Hogwarts pages, or the Hogsmeade pages. I like how they have the, uh, the wizarding version of a sign spinner. Wait, is that a... J. Pippin's Pushins. Harry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come Law here. Lawang? Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Pushins. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I Does everybody know about me? Immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. I'm not sure Is why I'm quite so famous. Art potion making rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now... Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Um, let's see, supplies. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to get. Oh, well, this costs zero, so I guess this is something I'm supposed to collect. Edoras Potion Recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Edoras. Okay. And we can weld. Okay, good. So I can uh, feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. We can weld. Come back another time if you're in a rush That's today. Good. Powerful damage post potion. Uh, reduces cool uh, cooldowns. Uh, powerful damage potion. So is that like a grenade, or do I drink it and then I do more damage, or do I drink it and take powerful damage? Recipe for a potion that makes the drinker practically invisible. That would be useful for those eyeball chests. At least until I learned that charm you were talking about, John. Uh, recipe for a potion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Maxima potion. Okay, so that sounds like that increases my damage. It's an effect centered on you, Thunderbird. Okay, so I, <laughs> I drink it and it just does damage in an area around me. That's an interesting idea. Ingredients. Okay. And then, okay. Cell value zero, 60. I guess if I'm not wearing something, I might as well sell it. All it's doing is taking up inventory. Since with the uh, transmog, the transmog, I can use the appearance of anything that I don't actually want to wear. Yep, sell it, yep. Okay, well, I still don't have any money, really. Uh, combat tools. Interesting, okay. Uh, focus, Thunderbrew, Edoras, Invisibility, Wigan Weld, Maxima. Yeah, I, I agree, John, I think you're right. Like because transmog uh, unlocks automatically when you get something, anything you get that you're not actually going to wear, you should probably just sell. Do 
J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. And there's a chest down there. I think I'm going to worry about those eyeball chests later after I've... Uh... I'll worry about the chests after I learn the charm so I'm not like using up consumables. Clothing has a level. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's what you're talking about. This is a level seven hat. I had to be level seven to unlock it. Okay. No, that makes sense. I wonder. Cute, but I still prefer hatless. Collections. Ah, enhances the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing the locations of large loot chests on the mini-map for one in-game day. Oh, okay. That's what it does. You drink the potion and it... Revealing the locations of large loot chests on the mini-map. Okay, so it's reveals them on the mini-map so I know where to find them. It doesn't spawn them or anything. It just shows me where they are on my mini-map. Okay. The eyeball chest? Yeah. That's what I need the invisibility potion for. Or the uh, invisibility charm. I'm, I'm going to wait for the invisibility charm, I think. So, what was John saying? They have like 500 um, monies. I forget what the currency is called. They have 500 monies in them. Ooh, prankster hat. I want that. Collect eight field guide pages in Hogsmeade. Okay. Charms are better. Yeah, I. Generally speaking, uh, charms are better than consumables. All right. So I need another Hogsmeade page. Zonko's coat. I'm. Ooh, you're teasing me with Zonko's coat. I want that too. Tomes and Scrolls is another place I need to go. I bet there's a uh, page in there. this? Ah, oh, it's a Quidditch thing. There's a big old chest in there. Oh, that's probably where my broom is. Oh, okay. That's broom related stuff. Alright, gotcha. Guy pages, all right. Do I get a new hat? Yay, I got a new hat. The coat. Zonko's chief prankster coat. I need 15 more Hogsmeade field guide pages. Wow, that seems like a lot. And then there's another one after that. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Oh, it was just it was just a cosmetic, okay. Zonko's hat. <laughs> um I'm not sure. 
I like how whimsical it is, but it's not exactly the goth aesthetic I'm going for. Hmm. Yeah, I'll remain hatless for now. Okay. Always transmog from field guide rewards. Okay, that makes sense. Good to know. It won't stop me from trying to find it in my inventory, though. <laughs> um, but, um... There's a thing over here. Ooh, fancy. Excellent. So, this field guide is something that they made specifically for me. And these field guide pages are specific to the field guide. Does that mean that someone like went throughout the entire world scattering field guide pages for me to find? Mr. Dude, talk to me. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, Let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Yes, that sounds very useful. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right. So, uh, the potting table with a small pot. Small potion station. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Beast feeder. Beast toy box. Hmm. Chopping station. Dung composter. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's hard to stay on track in this game. You are right. Large, two large pots. Large pot, material refiner, hopping pot, medium, two medium, three medium, three small, T-shaped potions station. Five small pots. Okay, I'm not sure what the difference between small, medium, and large pots is. Is that, uh... Based on the... The ingredients that can be grown in it, or the potions that can be brewed in it. Rebellion. Mm. 
visit the magic deep. Oops, wrong one. Seeds determine pots. Okay. Never need medium pots? That's weird. Seems like you'd need them sometimes for some things. That's another eyeball chest over there. Yep. <sighs> Medium pot seeds can be used in large pots and small size seeds. So all you really need is four or five small pots and three or four large pots. Really, medium seeds can be used in large or small pots. It seems like that might be a a bug. Oh, I see a page up there. Can I get it from here? I can. Wow, it's got quite a range on it. Can I Accio that sheep? <laughs> I guess not. That would have been silly. That's just silly. Hope you don't mind. I took your sack of coins. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the talking from I'm inside a tin can. One big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cards clip in like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. Ah, I didn't try to levioso. To so I have plenty of plants. I should Grow try that. Myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? What say? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Flux oh, weed, not grass. Better go and find Sebastian. Mallow sweet. Shrivel fig. Fertilizer. Ingredients. Didn't he? Flux weed. Oh, I see. Uh, can be grown in pots of any size. Flux weed must be grown in large pots. Not grass. Any size. Mallow sweet. Any size. This is what you were talking about. Magic neat can be grown in medium or large pots. Okay, so seeds. Seeds can be grown in different size pots, but there aren't any seeds that require just a medium pot. Any seed that can be grown in a medium pot could also be grown in a large pot. Okay. But if I had medium pots, then I wouldn't have to use up my large pots on medium seeds, right? It might still be useful to have some, but that's something for me to worry about later. I don't know what, what kind of limitations I have on uh, uh, the Magic Neep cart. <laughs> this cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Okay. I kind of need to wrap this up, but I have to try to Livioso that sheep. Huh. I guess I can't. Oh, I did! 
Oh, oh, poor guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't run away. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's too fun. That is that is too fun. Oh, it's fun until he falls down. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> well. Ah, Aronov. Welcome back. Did you see me, Levioso? Oh, oh, I can Akio. I akio the sheep. I just, my aim was off. Oh, no. Oh, this poor sheep. You are doomed. You are doomed, poor sheep. Oh, I'm going to get a reputation. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, this poor sheep. Ah, come on. <laughs> oh, I need to stop practicing on this poor sheep. This poor guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, can't go inside because it's all covered in roots. Interesting. Oh, plenty of pumpkins, though. He does like a pumpkin. Can I get up there? Is this like a jumping puzzle that I should be able to get up there? Whoa. I have destructive feet. I can just explode things with my shoes by walking close to them. I'm not sure how that happens. Seems like I should be able to get... Oh, you know what? I was going to say I can get up there with a broom, but maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't need to investigate that right now. Let's see. Let's continue this story since I've got about maybe half an hour left at most. Okay. Oh, I bet that. Yeah, that's the, the, the hair shop. I want to go to the hair store. Use flying on yourself. I don't think I can Accio myself or Levioso myself. Um, yeah. I can't Levioso me. But I'll have a broom soon enough. The broom can Levioso me. Yeah, John says no. Ah, here's Sebastian. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on. Got it. Oh, and I level up. I'm level 7 now. Um. No, can't level, can't Akio an owl. Levioso objects and climb up on them. Hey, that's a good tip. I wish I had time to explore that. But I want to wrap I this up all of before I run out of time today. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? Uh oh. Oh boy. This is probably going to hurt. Oh. 
Yes. Interesting. I can throw environmentals at him. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, I could have protegoed that one. Ah, I can do that one too. There we go. I can't see me. Oops. <coughs> throw until you run out of throwables. Oh, wow. I exploded him. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's mm, yeah. beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are hmm. unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Ruth of course, Singer. Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. <laughs> and thank you, again. Yeah, that uh, troll was not as dangerous as it should have been. <gasps> Honey Dukes! Uh, hello there! A, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Yeah, you go see, any, you go see what he wants. Let's see, can I repair all this stuff? Or? I can repair oh. I like. Okay. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Fifty times tougher out in the wild. Huh. Thanks for the warning. That one was plenty tough enough for my first encounter. Let's see something else. It needs to be repaired o repair road. Oh, this it's this big mess right here. That's Whew. That is a powerful spell. Jeez. Wow. Glad Rags Wizard Well. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Revelia. Gladrag's Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag's serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. I'm here for the fashion. Yes. Give me all your fashions. <laughs> she just randomly grabs anything to eat or drink that just happens to be laying around. Uh, 
A little bit of money here and there always comes in handy. Augustus Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In fact, for what you Am I British? No. No, I'm American. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's mm. try this on. For you could do time. less. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Let's see. What's he giving me? Traditional school robe. That's what he's giving me. Very well. Oh, boy. Let's see. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. I've been equipping gear left and right this whole time. I don't think I need a gear equipping tutorial. Uh, defense and offense are d displayed at the top right of the screen. Yep, defense offense. Select the cloaks and robes, gear. <laughs> uh, thank you, Arnav. Select the cloaks and robes, gear slot. Equip a robe. But <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Okay, well, let's see. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I'll be back to shop for clothing I later when I have more money. Items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome. Yes. Let's see. Offense five, offense four. Hmm. Oh, but. So this one has better offense. But it can't have any traits slotted. This one can slate, slot a uh, level two trait. Hmm. I think I prefer that. Yes. Oh, wait. I've got a level 7 hat that I can equip now. Yeah. Yes, that is better. Okay. I do wish it would uh, remember my uh, transmog options. I don't want to have to transmog every time I equip a new piece of gear. Although I do want to see what the new gear looks like. Uh, it's kind of a trade-off. I shop at your leisure. Oh, thank you. Can't use traits on gear for a while. Okay. Well, it was just Assuming a uh, slight trait better, difference. You know. might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. It's a good tip, though, John. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind for future. Uh, something ominous. There was a guy with a hat. Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? Record. All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with... Uh, yeah, he Rook definitely Rook? did. Anrock is 
working with Brookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. It's rather empty. I had expected to see more people now, in here. What can I. Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. <laughs> Looks like patrons are just spawning around what about me. about the attack? I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is Thank that you. right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade... That's never happened before. Yeah, you'd think they'd be spotted right. well before they got into the town. Roots we usually have to deal with. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, time, man. Was that Logok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Hmm. Rebellion. Oh, come on. Surely there's a page in here. Upstairs, maybe? Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm supposed to be talking while I do this. Oh, that's locked. Huh. So there wasn't, like... There's no, um... Page in here. I forget what my book is called. My handbook page. I thought for sure there would be. Or maybe I'm just missing it. Let's see. Let's press on. We've got about another 15, 20 minutes. Should be about enough time to get back to Hogsworth, Hogwarts. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. 
I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Fast travel to your common room. That's not my common room. Great Hall, South Wing, Library Annex, Bell Tower Wing, Astronomy Wing. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought those were destinations and not just uh, like area markers. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Yes, yes. This flag is a different wing with multiple travel points. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What did I just unlock? Where's that? Enemies. Armored Troll. Okay. A Zonko hat. Yeah. Conjurations. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Um, Revilio pages. Field guide pages. Right, right. Okay. And then over here. Some Dittany. I think I just did a challenge. Did I not do... Ah, uh, okay. It's kind of a cool looking cape. I might like that one when I get to it. Okay. Well... I think this is probably a good place to wrap it up. Oh, read mail. Okay. Well, let's read some mail. Um, you have an owl post. Okay. Professor Fig, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Hey, Arnov, thank you for stopping by and watching the stream. It was good having you here. Um, I will perhaps be able to stream again later today. Uh, it depends on the state of my internet service. Um, if they're able to get out here and take care of it today, then I'll probably be streaming later today. Uh, if not, uh, it will be some point tomorrow, most likely. But uh, yeah, if you're subscribed, then you should get a notification when I start streaming. And then once we get the uh, internet situation all squared away, I should be able to establish a uh, streaming schedule and be able to predict better when I'll be streaming next. Uh, in the meantime, uh, y'all have fun, and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>